Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So I hope you well Capricorn. And yes, my back is getting better. I did have some time off. I injured my back. I think it's just, it's going to take time. And obviously patience is needed which is not one of my strong points <laughs> okay so what do we have for capricorn please message for capricorn thank you message for capricorn for the week what does capricorn need to hear thank you okay so i have commitment message for Capricorn please okay so oh nice I mean we have support there that's divine support as well you can see you know you're being watched over guided um, you may have some support on hand as well for some of you too very nice energy okay so I'm going to pull three cards Capricorn the first card as you know by now is the challenge or issue that you face the second card is advice from spirit the third card is the outcome and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so what do we have for our lovely capricorns please for the week 15th to the 21st of february 2021 please angel spirits guides message for capricorn Okay, so I have the devil, which is you, Capricorn. That's in your challenge position. Four of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is your outcome. Okay. It's interesting, I've got the devil at the bottom of this deck too. And I always pre-shuffle offline before every reading as well as online. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns, please. Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. 15th to the 21st of February, 2021 for Capricorn. Starting with this devil, thank you. We have the Knight of Wands. Four of Cups, we have the Hierophant. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I love this energy. We have, so there's definitely support being shown to you, definitely su divine support, maybe support around you. And we have some kind of commitment being made. It feels for some of you this week. Or you making a commitment. Interesting energy. Because we have you here, Capricorn. You know, the, the devil can sometimes represent instability. In whatever situation can also represent um, challenging relationships that could be in the workplace that could be in terms of home family friendships whatever you want to call it I mean you know the devil is uh, is a card of shadow energy as well so it can well be where sometimes our negative side can dominate you know and it's fighting against that as well so for some of you that might well might well resonate um, but I mean this is you you know the devil is your card as well and it's a challenging energy it feels for some of you that you don't feel in your element right now if it's in your challenge position and it might well be for some of you you're wanting some kind of progress or commitment because you know the knight of wands is progress um, offer opportunity but it's interesting in the challenge position it can be about delays to do with that 
You may have had delays, setbacks. The advice from spirit is, and you know, the Knight of Wands is, I mean, yes, it can be opportunity. It can be also, um, sometimes with the Knight of Wands, you, you, what it brings in, and the Knights are all about change. So it feels for some of you, you want change. You know, because it feels like you don't feel comfortable or happy with where you are right now. That shadow energy can really dominate if you're not careful. Um, could be through to some instability you're experiencing as well in whichever area. And the Knight of Wands can sometimes be a card of an opportunity that comes in or an offer or a person even that brings change. And you know, you just think, oh, thank goodness. I can put this situation behind me, you know, that I've been challenged with. And it feels that kind of energy for you. You know, the Four of Cups with the Hierophant. I mean, the Hierophant is a card of when we search for meaning. What's it all about? Why am I going through this? You know, why is it happening to me? You know, all of those kind of questions that we ask God, the universe, the divine angel spirits guides that we just put out there. And you're being told, have faith have faith and again the four of cups is is a card of sometimes it can be a card of you're being guided in a specific direction um you're absolutely being told that there is something positive that you're being guided to ahead just be careful of stagnation, feeling stagnated in terms of emotions, feelings with the Four of Cups. Again, maybe that negativity getting on top of you here, because this can sometimes be the Divine Nudge card. Um, but it feels for some of you, you're absolutely being guided to a specific route. And it definitely feels for some of you that you're, with that Four of Cups, you're being told it's coming, you know, the opportunity is coming. If there is boredom or apathy in a situation, you're being told to do something about it. I mean, you know that the Hierophant can also be about traditional institutions, religion, um, education, marriage, committed relationships, um, standard ways of, of even working, you know, that kind of energy. So if you're feeling bored to do in the, in the, you know, maybe to do with some kind of institution or, you know, whatever this means to you. It feels for some of you, you're being guided. You're being given the answer, the illumination on how you need to take action. And that's the divine support here. Because for some of you, there will be an opportunity to move on. You know, the Eight of Cups, yes, this can be a card of moving on, walking away putting something that hasn't lived up to expectation or promise or has run its course behind you. So it feels for some of you, finally, there is an opportunity to turn your back on something that you want to put behind you now because the Eight of Cups moves towards the Nine of Cups, the heart's desire, the wish fulfillment, greater happiness, satisfaction, contentment on every level, you know, in every area of life. So there's definitely this energy Capricorn of you will get the opportunity to put something behind you finally. Sometimes this can be associated with disappointment as well, um, some kind of disappointment that you might have experienced here, because there's definitely some message of truth, some information, some news. Um, yeah, I mean, the Page of Swords is hearing something, learning something, um, a message of truth so again it can well be some kind of communication coming your way and we have the page of pentacles which is you can see the peacock there peacock in tower represents abundance so the page of pentacles is the beginnings of abundance it's very good in terms of money and career so this can be news to do with financial career opportunities um they're messengers, the pages, and they herald the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So definitely very good in terms of money career if you've been having some delays. And it feels like you've had delays and you're just kind of thinking, when is it going to happen? Well, it feels for some of you this week, you know, for some of you this week, it's going to happen. The page can also be about manifesting a new path. Um, you might be learning some new skills. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it can be to do with learning skills, um, expanding your skill set, that kind of energy as well. I mean, it can be to be more attractive in terms of jobs, career finances as well. But you might be learning a new skill, a new path, you know, that kind of energy too. It is a card of manifesting something, manifesting something new. So, but whatever it's leading to here, Capricorn, it's earth energy, which is your element, and it's leading towards the beginnings of abundance. And that's what you're being told here, the abundance, the change, the, the beginnings of solidity and security, having gone through some instability here, is coming your way by your actions. So don't get stuck in these emotions and feelings, however difficult that can be, um, because yes, there have been delays and it feels like you've been stuck in some kind of um, challenging energy, but it feels like you'll have the opportunity to put something behind you. So very, very beautiful energy indeed, Capricorn. I'm gonna pull a final card. Someone might be showing you some kind of commitment here, you know? Yeah, maybe some kind of news that will lead to a commitment, maybe an offer, an opportunity, you know, that kind of energy. Oh, there we are. So I have wish wisely, yes. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical, practical steps towards making your dreams come true. And it's interesting because the Eight of Cups is somebody who does wish wisely. You know, they wish for the Nine of Cups. They want that next cup, the cup that you're being guided to here, most definitely. Um, and I feel it's, it's starting to manifest in the form of this, the Page of Pentacles. So lovely energy here. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.